Education Committee meeting uh, to order. I'd um, like to ask Pretty Melvina to do the invocation, please. Ed Oda Glandy Hay, which is a little bit of 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 a Father, we just thank you for this day again. We thank you for all your blessings. Lord, I just ask you be with us throughout this meeting. You be our guide. Lord, we thank you for everything, and thank you for this season. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Gail, can you do roll call? Sean Crittenden. Here. Wes Nofire. Keith Austin. Danny Callison. Here. Julia Coates. Here. Joe Deer. Here. Mike Dobbins. Here. Rex Jordan. Here. Johnny Kidwell. Daryl Legg. Dora Patskowski, Joshua Sam, Here. Mike Shambaugh, Melvina Shop Pouch, E.O. Smith, Here. Candessa Tihi, Victoria Vasquez. You have a quorum. I'd like to ask for approval of the minutes. So Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? All right, moving to reports, vocational programs, Talk and Leaves Job Corps, Career Services, Diane Kelly. Thank you, Mr. Chair. We have been very busy in all of our different departments. Uh, the Job Corps students will be going home for the winter break this week, and they'll return on January the 3rd. And our uh, enrollment is up con considerably uh, in comparison with some of the other centers. Uh, I want to commend Julie and her staff. They've been working very hard, very diligent, and trying to get the center full. And we appreciate all the referrals that you as council members have sent our way. And uh, we opened our Vanita office uh, last week. Uh, you all were up there for the naming of the Catoosa uh, facility. And uh, Jennifer and I are looking forward to getting things going up there after the first of the year. Uh, David Moore's working with us. And we hope that we will have all of our staff and all of our program services there uh, maybe by the first of February. So just bear with us. It's coming. Do you all have any questions? Any questions for Diane? Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Diane. <laughs> Executive Director's Report, Mr. Mark Vance. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, a few updates. First of all, I want to thank uh, our staff for helping you guys out in the parades. That was a lot of fun. We kind of divide and conquer in our group, and it was a lot of fun moving and seeing people and just seeing the public and handing out that candy. Sometimes you carry two or three of them, boy, it's heavy, doesn't it? But it's a lot of fun, a lot of, a lot of good times. So um, uh, quick updates. Uh, of course, you know our concurrent and our undergrad and our graduate um, scholarships are April the, I mean, January the 17th deadline. So you have plenty of time, January 17th. You, uh, they can get on their Gadugi portal. Uh, we have a voice recital December 18th at 3 o'clock. You guys are, I'm formally uh, inviting you guys. December 13th at, at 3 p.m. at the Sequoia Chapel. Little recital. Uh, our trail of tier application comes out. Uh, email, eighth grade through twelfth grade, your counselors will get those and they can apply for that. RTR has started training. Um, our high school courts have been ordered. Uh, it's just delayed right now, and as soon as they get in, we'll get the forms out to you all. And you have my report. Oh, yes. Uh, I sent an email. Uh, Southall Public Schools was having an a issue trying to get on the, <coughs> trying to get the concurrent enrollment. Thing done, so I sent an email to y'all. Hadn't heard back. Just okay, Southall Public School. Sarah Jackson. Thank you. I'll check on that. Doctor. <clears throat> well, good afternoon, Mr. Vance. It's good to see you. I saw you over over the weekend mm -hmm. um, at the tournaments, but I'll save that one for, for yes. Rita. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so, you know, you were talking about the. Um, concurrent and um, upcoming the deadline there. Yes. you were talking about that just now um, just as a quick reminder what is what's typically the deadline that we look at for just the higher ed scholarships in general it is January 17th but we can always back it up if we have issues um, that's a soft deadline okay. uh, for our workers but for concurrent high school, it's, it's good because they all come back around the 4th and the college comes back around the 12th, 13th, so we kind of back it up for the college students. Okay, so for, for a college student who, who misses that deadline, um, I'm, you said 
So there's kind of a soft deadline, yes. but I assume there's also a hard deadline. Yes, and that's end of the month. End of the month, mm -hmm. okay. So so for for a student who, say, has missed that deadline mm -hmm. and is is kind of in in a bit of a bind, what are some steps that that student might be able to take to, uh, um, but like, would you recommend them reaching out to, say, the financial aid office at their university? Yes, or and, and, co and college resources here at Christy Marsh. We have everything here. Uh, we won't turn them down. We help them. So. Okay. Okay. The concurrent's so, a little different, and the college, I mean, are you asking for college students or concurrent students? College. Okay, I'm yes. For college students. Okay. Okay, so so if if someone has reached out to me, um, I should I should send them to Christy. Yes. yes. Okay. All right, and then um, I think that's it. So thank you, thank You're you welcome. for the time, Chair. Council Deer. Hey, can you send out an email before break to the Indian Eds, making them aware of that scholarship date? Yes, I can. And I'm sure my district's not the only one to make those guys aware going into college of what they're doing. Okay. So they know that because as soon as they get back, it'll be like the 5th. Right. And they're, they're not going to have much time, but at least over the, the Christmas Breaks. break, they could do that. Absolutely. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Any other questions? Mr. Smith? Yeah, Mr. Smith. I, I may have missed it on the community service hours. How, they, how are we doing that this year? We're doing it the same. We're offering an a, a essay. Or you can do your community work. Yep, three hours. One page is 10 hours and two pages is 20 hours. So because of COVID, we just carried that over. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, one follow up. I remembered what I forgot. Um, you said that uh, the date of that recital was? Uh, December 18th. December 18th yes. at 3 p.m.? Yep. And will that be in the place where they play? No, it'll be at the chapel. At the chapel. Yep, okay. Support chapel. Thank you. Okay. One more. Mr. Vance, thank you. Thank you. You guys have a Merry Christmas. Hey, I was going to tell you, and and uh, thank you for always being available. you always on that dead phone. Appreciate you. Yeah. Head start, Miss Verna Thompson. Christmas. We're all in the Christmas spirit up there. In fact, it's like a candy shop in the conference room right now. They're bagging candy, and the guys will be here in a minute for a, a bag for you and your families. So we'll wait for them to come through the door, like Santa. <laughs> Sorry, you, I about got you in trouble passing passing notes. <clears throat> I want to say a little something about our 29th conference, the week of Thanksgiving. I want to thank Mark and Aaron and uh, everybody, the secretary and uh, Councilman Rex Jordan for always being there. Uh, we had a good time, but most of all to me, the, the biggest highlight of the conference was recognizing Laura Lai Wood, who I mentioned before in previous reports. Can you imagine she completed 12 months of perfect attendance? Can you, she's, the, she's the cook at uh, No Water Early Head Start. And she's still on a roll. I don't know how, what her goal is, but more power to her. She's, she's just an inspiration to us all. The next big thing uh, this month is uh, getting ready for our January 16th through the 20th federal review. That's all we're doing right now is living and breathing in preparation for that. We had the school superintendents meeting uh, this Wednesday, preparing them in case they get questioned. I don't think they will because this review is called the Focus Area 1. They have Focus Area 1 and 2. Focus Area 1 is just a, a virtual, and they should be calling me Friday or Monday because they said they gave us a 45-day notice, and then the next notice is 30 days out, and that will be uh, Friday or Monday, and they'll tell us what to upload, who they need to visit with, and I get the, the chore of asking folks to work on a holiday on January 16th. But uh, so will they. So we'll... we'll We'll do likewise. Uh, <clears throat> the classrooms will be closed December 19th through January 3rd. Uh, part of that time will be more training for them. Our staff are probably the most trained in the entire Cherokee Nation. But uh, <laughs> right now the flu is hitting us hard, probably everywhere. We had one classroom closed last week. But on a good note, we'll have one more opening January 3rd because HR has really been assisting us in getting 
uh, staff on board. Uh, we've had two, three in the last uh, month, and we had two start today and two next Monday. So that is something for us to celebrate. That's going to mean more classrooms opening. But uh, we're always ready for them. Um, any other, any questions or comments? Verna, looks like no questions. Appreciate you. you bet. Oh, one more thing. We have uh, one of our young ladies retiring in January. We, the, when I first started realizing that we we're getting to be retirement age, <laughs> uh, there were nine of us, and so far two have retired. So this is going to be the third one. So we're, we, we are constantly setting the stage for what's next and who's next. So, but we're not going anywhere until those facilities are built. <laughs> we want in those facilities, which is getting very close. We had a meeting with uh, COS and John Asbill last week to see how far we are down the road with them. And the Tahlequah one is very, very close. Have you been to Kenwood, anybody? That huge tower out there, I think the community is dancing in the street. But um, the, that's got some activity going on there. Thank you. Next step is Quay High School, read a bunch. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm entertaining any questions you have, and I'll try to have the answers. <laughs> Dr. T, ready? Yeah, I um, not not so much of a question, but attended the uh, the Battle of the Nations tournament this weekend with the BIE schools representing. Uh, from, from Riverside, from Mississippi Choctaw, Cherokee, North Carolina. And then we had, of course, our own, you know, our Cherokee Nation's own Sequoia Schools. And I, I mean, you know, this is something that uh, Counselor Nofire and I were talking about just before, uh, just before Education Committee, to sit in the gym and to look out and to see a huge crowd of Indian basketball fans there and the way that the BIE schools were supporting each other. And um, things were just so well administrated and so well run. Um, I know that it's, you know, it takes a village and, it, and it's yes. not just you, Superintendent, but also Principal Brown and the coaching staff and facilities and, and everybody, volunteers, so many, you had so many volunteers. Yes. And um, it, it was just, it was, it made my heart sing. To, uh, to see the crowd there and to participate and, uh, and feel the energy of, uh, of the school. It was, it was very um, pre-pandemic levels <laughs> <laughs> for the crowd, but it really, it felt like a historic event and, you know, offering congratulations to uh, the Riverside Indian uh, Lady Braves who, who were champions of the tournament and, of course, our Hometown Muldrow High School Bulldogs, who who won, uh, were the boys' champions. But it was it was just wonderful, and I I really hope that you can pass those accolades on to to your staff as well, your staff, your volunteers, and your students because yes. it was just wonderful. Yes. Well, we thank you, and I can't say it any better than you just said it. And uh, I may have to play this video back to everybody. <laughs> Well, and, uh, and I know that seniors are, uh, are ordering their caps and gowns and, and things are really, yes. it, it said uh, this really made it real for them. And, yes. and so, you know, I'm always so proud to, to see Sequoia High School's graduation because we have students who go on to not only um, our, our regional schools and our state schools participating in the honors college and honors programs, who are just outstanding students at everywhere from Northeastern to Roger State, winning um, sports championships, doing all kinds of amazing things, but also graduating from Ivy Leagues. Yes. Um, Dartmouth and Brown and, and all, all of these amazing opportunities that Sequoia Schools offers. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I, I'm thrilled with Sequoia. Well, thank so. you very much. Um, along those same lines, we've been just reaching out to different ones to find out where all of our graduates are, and they are impacting the nation. Yes, they are. Yeah, they are very much Absolutely. so. Absolutely. Yes. I'm just a former student. I'm not a graduate, but um, I, you know, once an Indian, always an Indian. There so. we go. <laughs> Yay. Can we um, clap? Yay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you for the time, Chair. I got a uh, Dr. Dobbins.
You know, Rita, uh, could you perhaps make arrangements for somebody to report the scores of the basketball games to Muskogee and Tulsa paper? <laughs> it just, <laughs> I, I, I go to the newspaper and I open the paper Friday morning. I wonder what the scores were Thursday. Nothing. Same thing on Saturday. Nothing. Sunday. Oh, wow. So I, I'd, I'd appreciate if you could, and it would be recognition for our athletes too. Just yes, to, it would. Yes, it would. And uh, so I appreciate it. Uh, one final thing. Well, I saw in your report we have 82 students that live in the dorm. Yes. How do we provide security in that situation for those 82 students? Uh, we have a marshal that's our resource officer. At night, it's on call, by call. On by call. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, assume I, haven't, I, I assume everything's been real s stable and yes. steady. I don't hear yes. about incidents at all. But. Well, and you know, that's uh, security is the main concern, and we try to address it even in our future plans. Uh, that's one of the items that we are, um, it's always on the forefront because we have to maintain it. Um, you know, it kind of increases our, uh, heightens our awareness when there's an incident that we have to be aware and, and try to make arrangements and address it. So that those questions always come up at every meeting. Okay. We try to address what the security issues might be. Thank you, Rita. Yes. Thank you, Chair. Any other questions? Councillor Austin? Not, not a question, Superintendent Bunch, but it's okay. a, a comment. You, since you, you've been uh, preparing the report for us, this is this report has a lot of information in it, <laughs> well, and I really you. appreciate that. Again, it's a team effort. Believe me. Well, <laughs> I said earlier today about some nominees that came before us, and the fact that they actually did the job before the meeting, which really helps us. You did the job before the meeting. Well, this thank you. Us. Appreciate thank it. You. Yes, appreciate it. Councilor Nofak. Hey, uh, before I try to follow up on what uh, Miss Ken as a T said. Um, there was, uh, there's a couple of, um, I guess some facility questions. Uh, I had a couple of parents uh, kind of come to me that their, their, their students may have just had some issues like mirrors in the bathroom, just little stuff like that. Okay. So just kind of pass that along. I know that, that we have some other plans maybe in the future, but I know that right there may be needing to address over the holiday season. Um, not trying to, to prevent our good workers from having a break, but just trying to suggest that it's a and good that time has to, to do it. girls, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need their mirrors, I guess. I don't know. I, I, my, my part is never always straight. Uh, I never look into it. But um, the other thing I want to say is, is also just kind of resound exactly what Ms. T said. It was that it was really good. It did my heart good. So um, showing up Thursday night, having Cherokee, North Carolina there, having our team show up and have that kind of crowd uh, that I was used to. You know, when I played ball there, when I graduated from there, we, you know, I think one time we had 8,000 fans show up to an away game. I mean, we closed down the doors, the old gym, you couldn't get in it. There was, there was literally nowhere to stand and all of those fans started showing back up. Um, so first, just, you know, make sure that the teachers there, I tried to go around and, and thank them uh, for volunteering their time. I was like, man, when I went to high school, I just thought you teachers got a paycheck and just taught me and, you know, whipped my butt if I wasn't in line. That was about it. But you guys really put in the effort, and so I really want to make sure that they know that. Uh, it is, is, a, is it a tough job at times? Absolutely. And, but it's an important job, and especially at that school where um, not only are you teaching education, but you're also having to uh, protect uh, what we are and, and allow us to grow as Indian people. And so going to school there, that's what I got. I that got that connection, that rooted ground of who we are as a people. And um, it's important that we have that kind of crowd. And so I urge, if anyone's listening, don't just show up because it was a tournament between two Indian schools. Show up to every Sequoia game you can because those crowds, that's what gives those students the boost they need to go win. It's one thing, being a professional fighter, I was out there being one Indian, getting beat around. It's different whenever you've got a team and you've got a crowd full of Indians that are cheering you on. That makes you play at your best level. That's what it did for me. I know our students there appreciate this getting put on by the staff, and so uh, it was just really good to see that. So appreciate yes, that. Was very so, much thanks a lot. So. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Anyone else? Thank you, Rita. Well, Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Let's see here. Old business, none pending. New business, and dot friends. But we're going to have a little jar outside taking up a 
donation for him, a cell phone. He can look him score. So, but uh, <laughs> just kidding, Doc. <laughs> just kidding. Just joke. Uh, but new business, none pending. Announcements. Any announcements? Uh, one more announcement. Second. All in favor? We are adjourned.